commutation. We know that in the case of a DC generator, the armature conductors are rotor and the feed system is stationary. To generate the electricity, we know that there are three things are necessary. One is a conductor, magnetic field and the relative motion between these two. In the case of the DC generator, the conductors are rotating in the stationary magnetic field. Because of rotor conductor cuts the magnetic field, then there is induced voltage. Then we know that the conductors are continuously changing its position that is for every half cycle it is changing its influence from n pole to s pole means when the conductors are under the influence of n pole there is a the direction of the induced current is in one particular direction when the same conductor is come under the influence of s pole the direction of the the induced current is the change in its direction because it is come under the influence of s pole that this changing power from the positive to negative which is takes place in the case of the DC machine along the magnetic neutral axis or a brush axis. This process of changing power of the current in from one direction to another direction what we are calling is the commutation process. Then what exactly commutation does that is that is there is a continuous change of its direction at every half cycle in the case of the conductor however the current which is passing through the the brush and to the load is in the unidirectional that is what we are getting is with the help of commuted segment and brush assembly system then if there is a changing over to the from positive to the negative that is uh, one direction to other direction which is takes place smoothly this process of changing over is called as the commutation process in the case of the DC generator that we are seeing here that is we know that the current induced in the armature conductors of DC generator are alternating in the region means the current which is induced in the armature conductor is alternating however the current which is delivered to the load is unidirectional in the case of DC generator that is alternating current which is induced in the armature which is you are getting the unidirectional current because of the commutator segment and the commutation process through the brushes the same thing is written here the current induced in the armature conductors of a DC generators are alternating in the nature these currents flow in one direction when the armature conductors are under the end pole and in the opposite direction when they are come under the influence of other pole that is S pole. As a conductor pass out from the influence of N pole and enter into the S pole, the current in them is reverse. That is when it is moving from one pole to another pole, from N pole to S pole, definitely there is a reversal of current in takes place. This reversal of current takes place along the, I told you, along the magnetic neutral axis or it is also called as brush axis. Then the brush pan and hence the short circuit that particular coil undergoing a reversal that is the reversal which is going through that particular the coil is called a current through it. The process by which the current in the short circuited coil is reversed while it is along the magnetic neutral axis is called as the commutator. That is the reversal of current along the magnetic neutral axis is called as the commutation the process so that we are getting a unidirectional current in the, the load however the current induced in the the armature is alternating changing its direction every half second the brief period during which the coil which is in coming contact with the brush where there is a reversal will take place that is called as the commutation period that is one particular coil which come under the, the commutation process when it is touching the brush axis or the magnetic neutral axis for a, a small short period of time that period is called as the commutation period it is represented by TC. If the current reversal that is the change from plus I to 
0 then it has to raise to minus i is completed by the end of the short circuit or commutation period that is there is change over from the plus i to minus i which is takes place in this commutation period then the commutation is the idea if it is changing from plus i to minus i then it is called as a ideal commutation if it is the changing over from plus i to less than minus i then it is called as the under commutation if the current in the reversal is not complete for example if they are changing over from plus 5 amperes to minus 5 amperes if it is changing over is from plus 5 amperes to minus 5 amperes it is called as ideal whereas if it is changing from plus 5 to minus 4.8 amperes then it is under commutation if the current reversal is not complete by the time then sparking is produced between the brush and the commutator segments which result in progressive damage to the both commutator segment as well as the brush whenever there is spark occurs definitely it will affect the brush as well as the commutator segment the brush width which is equal to the width of the one commutator segment that is the commutator segment which is touching the brush they are both the same therefore it is called as brush width is equal to the width of the one commuter segment and in between their commuter segment we have got a mica insulation that also have to take care of then exactly how there is a reversal will take place in the case of the DC generator that we see the from the, the set of the figures here I, I am considering here two three coils A, B, C these are connected to three commuter segment of A, B, C and the coil is moving from left to right left to right then in the first position I am considering the brush is touching the commutator segment B then the coil the current which is flowing from the left of the the, the brush is in the clockwise direction whereas the current in the coils which are falling the right of the, the brush is in the anti clockwise direction ok now I will consider here there is a 20 amperes which is flowing in the clockwise direction from the left of the brush then if the current 20 amperes is from the left of the brush if it is 20 amperes it has got one path through here but however to flow the current here it, it does not have any path here therefore this 20 amperes has to take a path through the, the coil B therefore the current 20 amperes this 20 amperes will flow through this coil and it is flowing here means the 20 amperes is from here and the 20 amperes from the, the other side of the, the brush then the total what we are getting here is the 40 amperes just you have to look into the, the direction of the current which is flowing in the three different coils A, B and C then B is under commutation process it has to go under the commutation process now now the current direction is from clockwise direction it is in the clockwise direction it is a clockwise direction from left to right now this coil is continuously moving from left to right brush position remains constant in the next figure if you are observing once again the same figure I drawn here ABC but this coil is moving in the right direction therefore the brush position is remain same but the while this whole assembly is moving here therefore some part of the brush now is in come in contact with the computer segment A you can see here around 25% of the, the brush is in come, come in contact of A and 75% is in contact with B now the current in the, the left of the brush and the right of the brush is the remain same that is here it is at 20 amperes here we are getting here it is a 20 amperes now for this 20 amperes now it has got a two part one is through this the another is through this the, the contact with the computer segment is very small the out of 20 amperes only the 10 amperes will pass through this and another 10 amperes is flowing through the, the coil B therefore what I am getting here is out of 20 
10 is passing through here, another 10 enters is. Means what I mean is <coughs> when the, the coil is moving from left to right, then when it is the brush is coming in contact with A, the current which is in the coil B is goes on decreasing. Previously it is 20 amperes, now it is decreased to the 20 amperes. Now the total current in the, the brush is once again it is 40 amperes. Now further this coil is moving, it is continuously moving. Therefore, I am drawing the one more figure here with the same A, B, C. Now the coil is moved in a such a way that now the brush is come in contact half with the A, half with the, the B. That is you can see here. Means once again the current is same here 20 amperes and 20 amperes. Then this commuter A segment is 50% connected and commuter segment B is also connected 50%. Therefore, the 20 amperes will flow here and it is taking path here. And this 20 is also flowing from here, it is taking path here and the total current what I am getting is 40 amperes. In this case, the current is 0, the coil current is 0. You can see progressively here. When the brush is in full contact with the commuter segment B, then the current is 20 amperes in the clockwise direction. When a small portion is in come in contact with the commuter segment A, then the current is decreased from 20 to 10 amperes. When the 50% of the brush is come in contact with A and B, and uh, the current which is in the B is become zero. Now the the coil B is under commutation process, commutation process, okay. Now it is 20 to 10 amperes, 10 amperes to 0 amperes. Next step, on. one second. <clears throat> Further this coil is moving, brush is remains the same, then what I am getting here is, now the around 70% of the brush is in comment with uh, A and the remaining with a B because this whole assembly is moving in the right direction. You can see here. Means this 20 amperes is flowing here already because it has got means 75% is coming A and 20 amperes is from the, the right of the, the brush. Out of 20, it's a very small portion is in coming in contact with B, therefore it is drawing very small current that is out of 20 for example 10 amperes is drawing from the, the commuter segment to B which is flowing here. Means the remaining 10 amperes of this 20 amperes has to flow through the, the B. Therefore the current is now it is 10, 10 amperes here. Means here 20 amperes, 10 amperes the total the 30 amperes which is flowing here. Therefore the current what I am getting here is the 40 amperes. Can observe here when they start continuously moving, then they are come in contact with the brush in a such a direction that the coil current in the coil B previously it is 20 amperes, it is decreased to 10 amperes, further it is become a zero when it is under the commutation process. Then further it is moving apart from the magnetic neutral axis, the current in the B is 10 amperes which is exactly opposite to the the previous it was in, in the, the clockwise direction now it is become anti-clockwise direction therefore here at this particular position there is a changing over of the direction will take place changing over of the current is taking place now it is in the clockwise direction here after, after this process it is changing to the clock anti-clockwise direction here further if we are moving the coil is moved so that the brush is totally come in contact with A. If the system is ideal, the system is ideal in that case as such there is no current is flowing through the commuter segment B, this 20 ampere will go through the coil B that is in the exactly opposite to which you are earlier in the clockwise direction. It has to go to here 20 amperes. Then here 20 amperes means it is plus 22, it is changing to minus 20 here. 
in that case uh, the commutation process what we are calling is the ideal one but you are not getting the ideal commutation because of uh, is the you are not properly fixed the magnetic neutral axis and you are not placed the pressure properly on the magnetic neutral axis in that case what happens the partial discharge of current is through the the brush b in the form of in the form of the r will flow here that is 5 amperes will go here then the 15 amperes is flowing here and total is 35 amperes then the 5 amperes is in the form of spark we are getting here then total current here is the 40 amperes we are getting but if this current is totally through this 20 amperes if it is goes through this then it is called as the ideal commutation it is called as the ideal commutation we are getting but in practice you are not getting then there is a spark is occurring if it is totally changing from plus 20 amperes to minus 20 amperes here then it is called as the ideal commutation it is called as um, ideal commutation here the change is from 20 amperes to minus 15 amperes therefore it is called as the under commutation same thing is explained here it is from 20 amperes to if it is changing minus 20 amperes then it is called as ideal commutation then the reversal of current is taking place this period is called as the commutation period from here to from plus 20 amperes to minus 20 amperes it is changing over then it is called as the uh, the time taken for this is called as the commutation period then you can see here if it is changing from plus 20 amperes to minus 15 amperes then the 5 amperes is shorting in the form of a spark then it is called as the under commutation it is called as the under commutation the same thing is given here that is plus 20 amperes to minus 20 amperes it is the ideal commutation then it is under commutation it is under if the current varies at the uniform rate from b to c in a straight line then it is referred to as an ideal commutation however due to production of self induced emf in the coil variation follows the dotted curve because of there is a self induced emf in the coil because if there is a change in the current it is an action of a inductance the property of the induction is it is opposing change of current in the the current or in a conductor or a coil therefore if there is change in the current from one direction to other direction because of this self induced emf the coil variation follow the dotted curve it is not fully changing from plus uh, 20 amperes to minus 15 ampere uh, 20 amperes it is seen that uh, the current in a coil b has reached only value 15 amperes in the reverse direction hence the difference of 5 amperes that is 20 minus 15 passes as a spark so we conclude that sparking at the brushes which results in poor commutation which results in the poor commutation the cause of sparking at the commutator is the failure of the current in the short circuit element to reach the full value in the reverse direction by the end of short circuit period then this is what you are knowing as the under commutation or also you are calling as it is a delayed commutation